Yes, to a degree. Um, I think all authors look around at what's going on and try and reflect it in, in the work. Um, it's not blatant, but it's certainly there. I'd be very upset if it didn't challenge readers. Um, I, think, I think that is part of our job. Personally, I do like to end on an optimistic note, but not all of the characters will make it to the end of the books. It's quite a revelation seeing something you've only written down on a page actually visualised for you. And they did such a good job of it as well. They added stuff that, uh, that I didn't really think of at the time. Um, as to what makes it successful, it's got to be the, the vision of the director, I think. Uh, I had an excellent director, which, which helped enormously, so yeah, it was quite something. I do treat it like a nine to five. I mean, when, when the kids are off at school, I will just sit down and write, take a break for lunch, something like that. So it, it's quite easy, really. Um, you just have to shape your life around the, the demands of the family. Um, as to a routine, I will, in the morning, I will, will go over what I did yesterday and polish it and revise it. So that when it comes to lunchtime and the afternoon session to write, I'm back where I started in terms of story. And that's when the, the new stuff is written. I keep the science as real as possible, the, the, the general physics, um, if you want to have a, a gravity on a starship then you need to either accelerate or spin the starship. Uh, just stuff like that, keeping the basics and the fundamentals straight and then building on top of that, that's the way to do it. I think I wish I'd been, been told to to do the plotting in advance, which I didn't do for the first book and, and wound up having to rewrite half of it. Um, but for me, that's an essential part of the, of the whole writing process is, is the notes and the chapter outlines to start with. I do enjoy cooking, especially um, for the bigger dinner parties when we have four or five courses. I, I enjoy doing that. Scallops on risotto. My classic favourite, I think, has got to be Julian May's Saga of the Exiles. Uh, currently, I can't choose between Ian MacDonald's Lunar series and um, Al Reynolds's Revenger series, so both of those. I have to know how it's going to end before I start. Um, given how complex and long a lot of my series are, uh, I wouldn't like to leave it to chance when I get to the last chapter and see if I can wrap it up. So yeah, I do, do have it all plotted out in advance.